So Maeva, um, Alex and I had to do a radio show on Sunday. Okay. Don't out me. Well, I'm going to out you. You can't. Yeah, I can. It's the BBC. Well, you've just outed yourself. It could be any radio show. Yeah, but just don't do it. My career as a presenter is going to go down the drain. So he phoned me up half an hour before and he was extremely hungover. Weren't you? You were very hungover. And he said to me, do you think I can do it? And he could hardly string that sentence together. It really Yeah. Is. And then, and I said, no, just don't do it. Anyway, I then clogged on, like linked on to the radio station at the time we meant to. Alex was on. And I was like, oh God, he's gone rogue. He's gone. Well, no, because I said to you, like, shall I do it? And you had no confidence. You're like, no, you can't do it. Okay. Yes, so I, 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 someone was shouting in the background, yeah, you should do it. <laughs> so I, I assumed that you had spoken to them and it wasn't going to happen. I then get a call from, like, the, obviously from the automated thing connecting me to the system. I was like, oh, fuck, I better pick this up. <laughs> so I, I had to take the call and it was, it was hard, but I, I did it. it but every, every time I see you, Alex, you always have I know. <laughs> every I know. time. And we don't Thank see you. each other often, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. I time it. I time it just for you. I want to be consistent. Maybe, so. if, maybe it's true. He always is. Isn't is. He? <laughs> I, listen, Someone's got to do it. Yeah. Jay's too old and boring now, so. Yeah, well, now for me, do, maybe do you drink still? Do you drink a little bit? I don't, I don't actually. You I, don't do, I, I mean, I do drink, but not, not often, like when it's like an occasion or something. Yeah. But otherwise, no, I'm not really a big drinker. Does it, does it, because now for me, it like affects me so much. Mm. Yes. But, it, but like so much. Before, I used to be like, oh, it affects me. Now, it like really affects me, mm. where I feel a bit like, like anxious the next day and yeah, I feel you, like, oh God, I've made all the wrong decisions. Your body can fit as My well. body can feel yes. I have to sleep all day. It's, where with you, buddy? What? You just, you Look, just, I'm you, here. you enjoy it. I'm here Monday morning. Yeah, you are. Snappy. Yeah. Ready to, ready to work. Also, he, also with Alex, he always looks quite good. Even well, though, you look very glowy. Actually. I know. I was going to say you look not fresh. To, not today. <laughs> you not do, today. you don't, you never, you're, you don't, your face doesn't change. The secret is if you just don't sleep. Just don't go to sleep and then your face doesn't have a chance to catch up. Super healthy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but you're you're probably um, sleeping loads because you're in the countryside now, isn't that right? Oh, you were going to say that because I've got puffy eyes. No, you don't have puffy eyes. At all. <laughs> no, but you just arrived in the studio with your huge suitcase like you're having a weekend trip to London. I was like, what is... But you've you've moved, haven't you? Is that... Exactly, yes. I moved to the countryside, which is, um, which is fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is it's different. I'm not going to start to criticize because it's not it's not fair, but it's it's different, I would say. Really? Because but you also live because you're you're still with James. Yeah. James Taylor. And you you lived in the French Alps for a bit. So you should be kind of used to it. Yes, right? exactly, but this is what I was actually saying to his mom the other day. I was like, you know, um I'm kind of used to it because I used to live for three years in a ski resort and a ski resort when it's off season it's very dead yeah uh, so I I get it but it's still like I'm a city girl and just like you know that, you took, want me the hustle some, and bustle, that right? took me some times to to get used to London so now moving from London to the countryside in England mm. it's again something new and I just need to get used to it I guess you need to get some hobbies I need to get some hobbies. Hobbies like what? Well, what hobbies would you do? Go on, pick a hobby. Well, you can't go skiing. No, because you're, you're in Cambridge. I don't know. Learn a language. <laughs> she's already learned. Learn she already speak three. I think you should learn French. Maybe you could speak Italian, French, English. Uh, not really any more Italian, but I do understand everything in Italian. Spanish? No. But that's insane. Three languages. That's three more than you can speak. Yeah, well, so. no, exactly. I just feel like it just would be so useful to have all these languages. But maybe also, we have to delve into this because... Um, the reason I got you on, well, not the reason I got you on, but one of the reasons I got you on is because you're just one of the funniest people. I did Mania Chelsea for 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we've obviously did Mania Chelsea when we're together, but you're just amazing, like on it, like in, <laughs> insane on it. Have you been watching it? I've seen, I've seen clips on, uh, on Instagram. <clears throat> You've been tearing it up. <laughs> What's actually been I mean, going on? So yeah, why don't you explain to all the listeners what's been uh, happening? I was, I was expecting that. Yeah, here we go, can't wait. Um, what? <clears throat> I don't know where to start. Uh, start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. So, so we start at the beginning. Let's talk about this series. So, you you have this series, and it seems like you and James become on rocky ground, mm -hmm. and so you go on rocky ground. And why do you, why are you guys on rocky ground? Because 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 I think I think now I'm going to speak for 
for many women yeah because they probably they feel they feel the same way as me or they used to feel the same way as me I don't know whatever um you know when you get to the stage in your relationship after two three years and you start to go through ups and downs because because it's life I guess because you have to move to Cambridge because you have to move to Cambridge no because that was before that obviously um <laughs> it's just you know you get to the you get to that itch stage. To the stage. routine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it ha I think I'm not... Uh, I mean, let's just be realistic. I'm pretty sure it happens to everyone, to everyone, every couple. of course. So the thing is with me and James being kind of like different, obviously, like two different cultures, mm. um, I would be more the type of girl, like I'm going to express myself, is not going to do it. So obviously, if I'm not happy, I'm going to have to say how I feel and just not brushing things under the carpet, which I noticed which some English very, people very, very English, that. English very people do that. It's terrible. I, I really can't stand that. And honestly, I love English people. I love their mentality. But that thing, wow, I can't. But anyway. But let's let's not talk about it. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I just want to quickly get into that bit. It's true. English people, we do. We choose to ignore mm. what is happening right in front of us. And we do it because uh, we're embarrassed to approach the situation. We're cowards. Right, like I'm, I'm very. No. It's true, I am. No. I, I'm, I'm very much like that, where I don't front up to situations, and that's happened in my past relationships where they didn't work, is because I just didn't have the balls to say what was going wrong or what to, I liked. To admit that you've been. Shut up, you little master cheater over here. Master cheater? Yes. Was that a new show on <laughs> yeah. Channel 4? <laughs> master, master cheater. Yeah, master <laughs> cheater. Yeah, you little cheater over there. Oh, you're so Shut bad. Um, <laughs> but it's true. But the um, but we do, we brush things up. And is James a little bit like that as well, that he won't approach things so Wait, much? J James is less like that, that now since he's with me because I force him <laughs> to express himself and he doesn't really have the choice um, but no actually what I liked about him when I met him is because he was not really like that so I quite liked it but still kind of like brushing things under the carpet sometimes anyway and um, yeah and what you saw lately in the series was just me completely losing my shit as usual, <laughs> not being able to control myself, um, being unhappy, being bored, being uh, not feeling desired, all those feelings that many girls can yeah. relate sometimes, you know, and then, yeah, and that was the wrong timing, and then, yeah, kind of like... But it's, it, I, bet, I bet the producers love it when uh, they see you getting and, and revved they up. Loved it. <laughs> they do, they, 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 of course, course they, they, they love it. Of and course. also, I think with you, Maver, they can sort of just... You're, you're like a ticking time bomb in like a great way. So they'll, they could literally, they, you'll see you having a conversation with James or someone and they could literally go five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, a boom. And then, and then you go, because it's great because you can't hide your emotions. No, I can't. I can't. And I should. I, and I'm no, working, you shouldn't. Why should you? I'm working on that because certain things you can't say, certain things sometimes you say it can hurt people and if you start hurting people that you love then it's it's just not it's, it's not fair and i should probably control myself a little bit more sometimes no but you shouldn't change uh, yourself for anyone i don't think i think no, that's like, that, that, i don't don't worry about that <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> yeah just making sure right there <laughs> but but it but also i suppose it, it it's hard to the reason why I, sub I did Main Chelsea for so long is I was quite good at saying things on camera. I didn't mind. For me, I could say it on camera and I could say it in real life. I just was like, whatever. I know. I'm yeah, yeah, you're like that. But it, it, takes a, <laughs> it takes a sort of slightly unique person to be able to say things for other people to, to sort of criticize or whatever. Mm. Why, why do you feel comfortable doing it? I feel comfortable doing it because I think in a way, uh, the fact that I love, I, for me, it's important to express myself and to say exactly how I feel all the time. If I'm in front of a camera, I can even doing even more. And sometimes you are in a situation where you've been, you've been forced to do it. Yeah. So it's even better. And sometimes you can even actually resolve your problems quicker in a way. That's why I don't, I don't yeah, mind. That's what I found. That was that's one, what of the, I found. one of the things doing the show is because you're forced to confront the issue. Like you have to go yeah. and speak to that person. So you end up like making up or not making up a lot quicker than yeah. you normally would, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly, that's what I liked about it because you did, you just, you, you were able to, like I said, you were able to say stuff that you would never normally say. Mm. But some people can't handle that. Some people don't like that. No, and James doesn't like that, obviously. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's our life, it's our job. But, but, <laughs> then, but then we also have to get into the, the other bit, right? And we're going to go around all, I want to hear like everything, your history and all this kind of stuff. But there's an amazing moment 
I've never seen in my entire life someone be so overly sexy towards... What, what am I, it was the bit where you said to Miles... Uh, and seducing that's not saying you Forgot I've that. never seen someone seduce someone so much in my entire life I've never ever have you seen really? this Which clip oh is this? my god it's insane maybe it's, it's chatting to Miles and oh, is this what you're trying on a because we probably haven't explained that. or something we haven't no we haven't explained a few it times so. I don't know which part you're talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, okay well let's explain it a bit more so you and James you're not feeling desired you're going through a rocky patch it happens in relationships all these kind of things he kissed someone is that right Yes, he did actually. Yeah, he kissed someone. He kissed someone, which is not a good thing. Were you on a break or? And we were. We weren't on a break. I can't actually remember. Anyway, he Can, yes, we were. Of. We were, but we were trying to fix things, mm. and then he got really drunk that night, and uh, he kissed someone, and I heard. I heard about that, and for me, that was that how was much straight anger? into my head. How much anger when when he found it? <laughs> I was I was red fuming and I was just like okay well if you want to play that card then we're gonna do that all right because then because then okay then what happened is there's this moment and Miles and you obviously your history we hear about that but there's a moment where you are standing next to Miles it's at night you both maybe had a couple of drinks and you say to Miles do you want to sleep with me do you want to have sex with me do you want to have sex with me which is <laughs> even better I think and and Miles didn't know what to say or do, and but was that is that you just really saying it, or was it more to seduce Miles and know that you could have him and just almost piss off James? No, that was completely. That was literally a whole plan in my head. That was me, me basically. It's amazing. Like step by step, it's like me going to James, being like, I'm not happy, I'm sad, and. I want to shake you because I want you to wake up and you know, you know when a woman at some point she's like, you know, what about the attention? What about not being seen by your partner? What about not feeling desired? What about not being your true authentic self in front of your partner? You get sad and it's really frustrated and I couldn't communicate with him. So we went through ups and downs because of that. We started arguing a lot that brought us to break up. He did kiss a girl, and when he did that, for me, it was just like, there's, there's, Surely there, that there's means a you way. should break up, though. Surely that means like a, that's like a breakup. Or is that not like that a breakup? That was break a breakup. That was a break. That was a breakup. He got, he got really annoyed. He basically wanted, he wanted to, um, to make me realize that what basically there was nothing wrong in our life. For him, his point of view was there was nothing wrong in our life. It's life. We go through ups and downs. And so what? For me, it was more. I need more. And and because of the misunderstanding and everything, we got to the point where we're starting to actually really hurt each other. Mm. And I found the perfect person to hurt James, which was Miles. You didn't find, you knew. You I, knew. I, mean, I knew, of course, <laughs> yeah. I knew. I think you've done this before though with Miles, right? Uh, she, you uh, like I heard like, Miles you've, well, no, James. you've used Miles as like a... As like a tool to get back at James, right? No, when was that? No, 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 no. I don't think so. No. Could but yeah, you and Miles have had like an on-off thing for ages, though, right? Well, of course, me and Miles, we had our history and everything. But mm. now that I know that I, I feel absolutely nothing for Miles, I just thought that I know that if I go to Miles and I just like use my charm a little bit, mm -hmm. he would literally jump and he would be okay with it. So I was like, <laughs> this he is would my literally jump. Yes, and this is what happened. So I was like, I want my revenge and I'm going to go way too far, which is ridiculous. And am I going to lose James for good? But what, let's do wait, it. Wait, what, did, what did Mars say when you said, do you want to have sex? He said, yes. Oh yes, yeah, so that's, sorry, your question. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Imagine, honestly, you have to watch this. Yeah, well, to all you listeners haven't seen it, go and watch the scene. It's, I've never seen seduction. Like, I think the only other, like, seductive, like, have you ever watched Basic Instinct with um, uh, Sharon Stone, yeah. where she, like, well, when she sat on uncrosses her, on yeah, that's very su seducing. Yeah. This well, is the most, far it's quite, yeah, 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 it's far from that, you're not, it's far from that bit. It's quite it's impressive so seducing. To, to be able to do it whilst on camera, though. Yeah, I was I'd, like, I'd find it so hard. I mean, I obviously wouldn't look good in a bikini, but. I, can, I don't know how to seduce, I don't think I've ever seduced anyone. Don't you? Have. No, I, I honestly don't. I think I'm a good flirt, ish. You put hummus on your butthole. That was about, <laughs> <laughs> that's about as seductive as you get. I, I'm quite a good flirt. I can flirt, but I, but also, my also my big problem was used to be was I'd flirt, 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 and then I'd get to the moment of like, okay, now this is going to be something, and I wouldn't be able to 
close close the trap door. I wouldn't be able to seal it. Close the trap Why door. I? I wouldn't be able to seal it. I w- I, I'm not very good at seeing where where women, I think, especially confident women, um, are very good at uh, understanding what you want, what you desire, and also you're very good at sort of expressing yourself. I'm not very good. I don't think men are very good at expressing ourselves. Yeah, mm. that's because it's a men thing. <laughs> no, a- in general, like even my dad is like that. I mean, all, all the men I, I met, they all they really struggle to express themselves. Yeah, we really struggle to, to express ourselves. I don't. Know, it's like anger or sadness. It's like two emotions, and that's really it. We can't really express ourselves anymore. We're simple, simple creatures. Do, do you think though, if you had pushed it, do you think Mars would have? So yes, I do think so. Yeah, and I, when I <laughs> when I asked him the question, so to reply to your first question was just was just me pushing it really far. And if he was gonna say yes, I would have never done it anyway because there was no way. That was just a, a plan. You're, you're also basically. on TV as well. So and I was on TV. It's so. not it's not a porno yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred percent. No, but but you wouldn't you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have pushed no, that far. It was more just course, it was a, it was like a, to a, to annoy. To annoy, and I think in a way I kind of wanted to to be um, desired. To be desired to uh, to show James that he could lose me. Basically, that's why I picked Miles to to do that, which was probably that was definitely a mistake at the end of the day, but. I went for it. Do, uh, but did, a, did it work? Is James now in line? He's like being well behaved. Is that, that that got actually really, really be- much better? Yes, but then of course, like still ups and downs because I think yeah, I'm not relationships gonna. Relationships are like that though. It's it, just life, you know. I yeah. think you're just gonna have to suck it up at some point yeah. and just be like, <laughs> yeah. you know what? You can't do that every time. Like as long as he knows what you need. Uh, and you can be on the same page as much as you can, then you're fine. But, but there's also this moment with you and Miles, which is so good, is where you come out and you're wearing your uh, bikini. And Miles says to you, he goes, oh, it's, this is my French Let's, hear it. Let's yeah. hear it. I'm ready for this. He says, oh, it's, it's très sexy. <laughs> is it très sexy? And you go, and you go, that's weird. <laughs> you say, Did you say that? Yeah, you said it. You, 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 and he says, hey, sexy. And you go, oh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> obviously there's like a mark which you get to where you're like ah oh god that's so in my past and not part of it. I just find yeah. it I find it amazing that um, that because only because I was very, I'm very open I'm in Chelsea for so long and doing it and for you then to come on and be like that as well lots of people aren't that open but you're very open with your relationship your feelings the way you are the way you talk to people yeah and, and that's were you, were you like that when you first came into the show because it, it takes a while for people sometimes to fully like no, I think I've always been like that. I never really cared about what people think and maybe if I'm doing something good or wrong and if it's an issue or not. I just, no, just I think I've always been like that. I always, even before, I've always been like that. It took, it took me about eight years to be able to speak properly. <laughs> he was the most monosyllabic person. He didn't say anything in his conversation. He just sat there and yeah. you, you, you... That was poor editing. That's it was not poor, poor editing. I was nervous. I'm, I'm, Were a, you? I'm an introvert, yeah. So to go into that sort of scenario... You're not an introvert. I'm not now because it's been forced out of me by going on TV. But going into going into that first shoot and there's like five cameras everywhere, extras, loads of producers, I was shitting myself. No, I had to get drunk. But you're not an introvert. An introvert is an introvert is someone who craves time alone. I would like some time alone. Actually. No, but away, I don't away think, from you. I don't think you like time alone. I think you, you stop you, telling me what I do and don't. Okay, like. I'll stop doing. Well, and I feel that if you really are an introvert, you wouldn't do the show anyway. No, I mean that would be. Yeah, that'd be oh. weird. That, that, yeah, actually though, Francis Bull, who I don't know if you met, who did the show, he, Francis is an introvert. He's not. He's not that much of an extrovert, I don't mm. think. So anyway, but where did they? How did you get onto the show? Because you used to date Mars back yeah. in the day, and you dated Mars for how many years? Three. You dated Mars for three years. Three years, yeah. And then he, you were always the the one. You guys had a sort of turbulent kind of a relationship, mm. and he then started doing the show. When did you find out that he was doing Made in Chelsea? I found out pretty straight away when we broke up, which was really hurtful. Wait, you broke up and then he went on it? Yeah, because we we broke up probably like in November or something like that. And then I found out that he was doing Chelsea in December. So in my head, I was just like, that was a whole plan. He just wanted to escape and do do a new life, I guess. Mm. Was he asked when he was on, Mm. when he was in a relationship with you? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably. Probably. He says no, but I'm pretty sure that. That, because when you and, and and this also this podcast is about being like when you first came back onto the when you first came onto the show 
and you saw Miles again, you were like, this is a different person to what I dated. Oh yes, completely. But also I never really wanted to do the show, especially when I broke up and a few producers, they came to me and they were like, maybe I would like you on the show. And I was like, no, no fucking way. <laughs> Why? Why did you not want to do it? Cause you were just uh, like- I didn't want to. Oh, that was, first of all, the, the breakup was way too fresh. So I didn't, yeah. I, I didn't know how I could handle it. And at the same time, I was just like, no, this is just not what I want. I don't like this world. I don't like this, that. And obviously, I just like, I take this back now because. Yeah, but we all do. We all do in that first time. We all do. And then, yeah. And then six months after, they contacted me again because I moved to France. Uh, After the breakup, it was really hard for me to stay and live in London. So I moved back to France and they called me when I was in France. And that was the perfect timing because... Uh, when I was in Paris, I was really sad and I was like, I really miss London and I really would like to go back and live in London. And Did when- you miss Mars at this point as well? Well, yeah, yeah, that was the whole whole thing. So you missed, up, you missed so- everything, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, yeah, it was really hard. And then they called me and they said, Maeva, do you want to do the show? We'll call you back one more time. Are you sure you don't want to do it? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's try. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, my so God. Did you tell him you were going to do it or did you just suddenly rock up and then... I that. think he knew, yeah, he knew more or less. No, I didn't tell him that I was going to do the show, but I think he knew I was, he, he felt it. We had some conversations because we were talking the whole time anyway, even when we broke up. Because I remember, so, I remember when we were in Croatia mm. and we were filming out in Croatia and he was starting to talk to you again. Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah, he that was. That was the first time yeah, actually that was we, the first we spoke to each other you after messaged the break him. You messaged him. Messaged oh, him. I remember yeah. this. We were out for dinner. And, yes, and exactly. He just burst into tears and I was like, oh my God, what's up, buddy? And he <laughs> <laughs> was loving it. Um, and he was like, he was really upset about you for some reason. I can't remember what it was, but. Do, do you think, do you think London, do you think doing a TV show like this, do you think doing a reality show, do you think it changes people? But him, for sure. In what way did it change? Let's take Miles as an example. How's Miles changed? The thing is, Miles is young and Miles tries to find himself and he probably found himself now. I, I don't know. I mean, his lifestyle is definitely him and he's happy with it and I'm happy for him. Uh, well, he's but, now he's now in a gang. He's in the tricep trio. Yeah, so well, he's found himself. So. Great. <laughs> Who's in the tricep trio? The tricep trio is uh, Fred, um, Julius and uh, Miles. Is that the tricep trio? You don't know the tricep trio. Is, is that? I, yeah. I thought. I Jamie, thought, you tried to apply for the tricep trio. Did, did, did I try? <laughs> Wait, is this, the, is this the gang on Main Chelsea? Yeah. Look at that. You've got, you've got, you've got really, the Crips, you've got the Bloods. Yeah. And the tricep trio. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that what they are? So this is yeah exactly yeah this is what they are, and no but just um, I think he found what he liked. But the thing is like I think he's just he's very uh, inf- in- influenced. He get he influenced, gets, yeah, influenced, yeah he yeah. get really fl- influenced by people. So uh, that's why when I saw him after the breakup and everything on Chelsea, I saw a guy with like a head <laughs> huge like that, and I just saw someone that I never knew before. So it was a bit disappointing. It's hard though for you guys, you know, when you go onto because what happens with the TV show is you're thrown together, right? It just everyone, right? Doesn't matter who you are, you know. Typically, when you have breakups or you have whatever it is or things. You distance yourself from one another. Like I had that. Alex had that when he was doing the show. You've had that with Miles, and and that's tr- how do you, how did you deal with it? As in, you came on the show, you, you had to be in front of your ex boyfriend. You then start dating a new guy, James, who you're in love with, and, and having to deal with all the emotions at the same time. How do you deal with that? On a I, show? I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. For yeah, me, that's it was unique. Like, no one does. Like, that was like. Um, um, I've got my life off camera, I've got my li- life on camera, and then it's the whole stage of, uh, I don't know how to explain, like it's, it's I, I didn't see any difference, basically. That wasn't yeah. like, I had things going on with Miles on and off, that was the same thing off camera anyway. Of course it was more amplified on camera because this is what they want, so obviously it's not helpful sometimes. But then I met James and then it would just went with the flow and then this is what happened and then you find yourself on camera to talk about it and then you talk about it and then off camera is the same thing. I just didn't really yeah, feel Yeah, you're the any... same as me. You're the same as me. Because most people, what happens is with reality shows, right? And this is a little thing, sneak peek for our listeners about reality shows, is that when people go on a, a reality show, they try and separate. So they try and live one life on camera and then they try and live another life off camera and they try and be almost different people. And so they don't want to bring stuff that's happening off camera onto the on camera. Yeah. And that's what happens is when people then can't handle it. Oh God, they, they, yeah. they have to quit or they yeah. have to leave because they don't like seeing what their real self on camera because they're trying to make a pretend self. And for me, the reason why I last so long and the reason why you'll perhaps do it for so long and you were exactly the same. You were just how you were there and then off. You didn't have, 
you kept your private life a bit more to yourself. I tried. Yeah, you tried. Yeah. The producers were pretty good at unearthing uh, <laughs> yeah. a team of researchers to. Uh... <laughs> but but you did you get yourself. But with you, Maver, I mean, that means you will just you can do it forever because it's not hard for you. To, you don't have to separate your life. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when it gets really, really, really tricky, uh, I'm gonna call James straight away, and I might gonna do a few things behind producers. Mm. Back and, yeah, yeah, they, and, they, and they know that, and I to, and I get to, and I get told off for it, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but sometimes you know you think about yourself, you can't control your emotions. You need to talk straight away to oh, straight away to the person. Yeah, and you can't wait to be on camera. You can't like, wait like another you week. Can't wait sometimes, so it's just mm. just do it, and then yeah. And also, I think we got to do before the end of part one is say you know to the people listening, Bain Chelsea's real. That's like what, what the emotions that happen and the things that go on and stuff like that. that that's actually what happens. That is real yeah. life because lots of people don't think it is, and they find it hard to think that you can be so emotional on camera. But that's who you are. You wear your heart on your sleeve, your emotions on your sleeve, and that's the thing about you. Yeah, and that put me in trouble sometimes. But I mean, James, James so said, I... yeah, James said a great bit is where you you sometimes shout before you've thought he said that in one of the he episodes actually, you, yeah that's true that's you true. just say it straight away without actually thinking about what it is it's true yeah. um okay listen baby you're gonna uh, that's gonna pop around you're gonna stick around for part two yes of course Ah, oh, you're gonna stick around <laughs> for part two buddy I, I think i might you want some water or something just to, yeah are you yeah. gonna be all right yeah i'll be all right i need a hug all right everybody we'll see you in part two <laughs> bye bye Hello everyone, welcome back to part two, a private part, part still here with part, Maver. Part deux. Part deux. Here we are. Okay, if you, okay, <laughs> can you, why, is this a good accent? Okay, ready? So, um, tu parles français? Tu parles français? Is that okay? It's almost a bit Brazilian, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> why is that Brazilian? That's not Brazilian. But this is really, that's funny because even James, when he tries to do my accent, he sounds a bit Italian, Spanish or something Latino, you know? Just basically, Does it sound basically, Latino? A little bit, I basically like Basically crap, it. not a good accent. Yeah, you go on, you do a big guy. Tu, tu parles en français? Oh, that's actually <laughs> a bit be, better. That is better. Yeah, a little I'm bit better. I'm a little bit hungover, so I can't quite get my pronunciation. That, that was actually better. Yeah. Tu parles français? Tu parles, yeah, tu better. Parles, yeah. Tu parles en français. Tu parles français. Tu, tu parles, parles français. français. Du, du français. <laughs> tu parles français? Oui. Oui. <laughs> Un petit peu. D'accord. D'accord. Où est le bâtiment? No, où est la bibliothèque? <laughs> um, I love. It. So, when did you learn English then? With Mars? No, uh, actually, a little bit before that. I think I learned English five years ago. Mm -hmm. Four or five years ago. So, because your English is great. No, it's not. It is, maybe. <laughs> it's, it, is, it is good. I, I promise you it's good. Well, I it's swear definitely to God. better compared to maybe, I don't know, maybe la last year, I would say. I think it's probably living with an English man. Obviously, you, you kind of improve. How do but you... Okay, here we go. Can, can James speak any French? A little bit. He does. No, he doesn't. But he understands the context now, which is good. In that's, a way. Well, that's because you get louder or you get... <laughs> yeah, or he just, oh yeah, he probably understands what I'm talking about anyway. But just, yeah, no, I think, no, few few words, but not really. It's, it's oh, yeah. probably quite useful having a language that he doesn't know so that you can, you know, you can say stuff behind, Oh, yeah, sometimes when I'm really annoyed, I'm like... It's like, <laughs> can't get that, it. Or, or sometimes it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, but Do also there's always that thing where if you speak another language when you're being romantic with each other, that's quite sexy, isn't it? But the British language isn't not, that... Not when you do it. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you like my big willy? <laughs> it's not sexy yes. at all. <laughs> that's not sexy at all. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though? I know what you mean, but weirdly, I feel really uncomfortable to talk to James in French in a romantic way, for example. <laughs> do you, do I don't know, I found, I found it... Because I don't actually think that he likes the, the language i don't think he really likes french in general <laughs> so i'm like is. maybe he might not feel that it's it's actually nice so it's a nice language not, not even myself i don't even know if it's fr if french is actually a, a beautiful language french is beautiful french. Language. people say that but yeah. don't realize but, but yours is a pr parisian yeah. accent isn't it which is obviously different. Why did you just rub your fingers? I just, I just rubbed my fingers. <laughs> Parisian, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Parisian. 
<laughs> but but I think that um, what is the difference in terms of cultures, right? Mm. And especially dating different cultures. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference there in terms of when you started dating some, you know, dating people in France and things like that compared to now dating James? It's few. It's not. I mean, there's not a big difference. We're pretty similar, but. There, there are a few things when sh- what, what, during your life, during your, like your, your routine in mm. life, every day, your everyday life, uh-huh. I don't know how you say that. Um, there are things that you do in France, for example, that I don't think people here they do, or actually James doesn't do it. It's, for example, little details, like, for example, we like, in French, in France, we like small talks. We like talking and having conversations. And, for example, we like... We like before having dinner, we, li- we like to have to sit, have a few drinks and talking and it can, we can spend like one or two hours just talking and have some, some, some drinks and some nibbles and it's called apéro. Is that what you do? So you, you know, have the like these moments together. These moments, and every often it's always like that. Before James, when sometimes but now he's used to it. But before, I would I like to be like, okay, it was like, at what time we're having dinner? And I was like, yeah, we're gonna have dinner at eight, but let's have a little glass of wine before, and like we chat and nice. That's great. And he's always he gets like very like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry now. Like, can we? Yeah, can we're we have patient. food? I'm like. Well, yeah, but it's uh, well. This is something that we do, and we like doing in France. And and it's hard I, I to explain that, that as well. It's hard to explain when you say, "Yeah, we're going to," but it says this is the moment where we sit down and we chat. I, yeah, exactly. I, lo- I, love, I, the, love, I love the idea of it, but when they, when I know there's food ready and waiting, I just want to eat it. I know. Or, I being, so or for hungry. example, being traditional. We are mm. really traditional in France. When we have a party, when we host a party, we like to have drinks, and then we like to sit and then have dinner and then enjoy each other's company. And I noticed that here is either you go for drinks or you go for dinner. Yes. But it's yes. all very well, I think, uh, messy. It is messy and it's aggressive. Eat loads they, or drink loads. I don't know. Yeah, for me, it's like very traditional, very like settled. Can be maybe boring for some people, but I mean, I love that. I've been used to it. I think, so, I think with Brits as so well, interesting. If, if we're going for drinks, like we're going for drinks, so we get so smashed. Yeah. We, we then don't end up eating. This is the <laughs> thing. And actually last week, this is what happened. And we had like a little beaker about it because... <laughs> a little, I, I reckon it was... A little, little beaker. I reckon it was massive. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon it was like, more of a biscuit. <laughs> a little beaker. <laughs> just not, just not understanding each other because we had this couple coming over and it was like saying like yeah we might gonna go for drinks at probably like six and i'm like what what's going on what do you mean at six so when are we having dinner is it just drinks or are we going to have drinks and then dinner or confused. is it just you don't know what it is and it's yeah and it's just and i'm like oh, this is not what i like but i guess you need to get used to it sometimes but so that but that's amazing so so it's about i think in the uk especially london Mm. We're so fast-paced all the time. Really? Let's drink this. Let's yeah. eat this. We don't yeah. sit it's... and communicate or chat. And you know, in in France, it's very much about family and and you know having those lun- big lunches and dinners and things like. That. We just in the UK, we don't it's have quite, this as much. We're quite Americanized. It's that like fast-paced consumerist, like bang bang bang. I think Is the it... Americans have copied us. I think that's what we've become. We're all workers. Mm. We worked in factories and down mines and things that were workers. You've never worked down mines. No, I haven't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what do you do, for example, when it's like a Sunday roast? Because I'm getting used to the Sunday roast now. Do you like a Sunday roast? Not really. But, <laughs> but not when actually did, When Sunday. did you first have a Sunday roast? Wasn't it quite recent? I swear I remember you saying this. You hadn't had one. Never. I think it was probably like last year. Yeah. <laughs> and so once in a while, but now I'm kind of, yeah, getting used to that. Um, what's, 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 I love that you're having to get used to things. I, I need to get used to a lot of things, yeah. <laughs> what's, exactly. the, um, what's the French equivalent to a Sunday roast? Do you have like a sort of a Sunday? No, not really. Not, not, not really in France, but my family is from Italy. So mm. when we used to, I used to live in Paris, every Sunday I was going to my grandma and she was going to cook like pasta for everyone and oh, it was so really nice. like it's more italian mm. mentality than french but, but it, in france no but it's way nicer it, italians have a similar sort of ethos with like taking time over food and it's more of a ritual than yeah yeah than the brits yeah but it's way better that way so you have to put, you, i'm sure you had to learn like a lot of things but also it goes back to that same point we said at the beginning which is british people don't communicate and mm. so then James probably wouldn't communicate with that with you. And then you then had to work it out in mm-hmm. a type of way. Yep. Do you think if, if James proposed to you? The question. What would you say? I would say yes. 
Would you say yes? Oh, yes, of course. Would you really? Of course. I'm, I'm waiting for this bloody question. <laughs> Wait, and he knows. Every day I'm like, when are you going to propose? You, you can't ask this. You, can't, you, have, to, you have to wait if that's yeah. going to happen. But he always plays around. Like He's always like, maybe in 10 years, maybe next week, maybe in two years. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just like, take the... Take the piss. You just, uh, guys love it when you apply pressure. So just keep asking <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah, honestly. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Yeah. yeah. No. yeah. Wait, how, do you know, how do you know when you're in love? How do you know when you, you love someone? I fall in love really quickly in general. Do you really? Yes, I do. So, uh, but when, you, no, I, yeah, not falling in love. I think it's a big word, but I noticed that with James, I never felt like that before. You know when you feel that it's the one. Even before, I was like, "What? What it feels like when you know that this person is the one? How do you know? Because you mm. obviously fell in love more or less before, so yeah. you always thought that it was the one every time you've been in a relationship. But no, you actually can make the difference, and it's just you can feel the difference, can't you? It's it's where it's it's like because you have everyone. We've all you know if you've dated or been in relationships past, you you've probably been in love. Let's say with averted comments, but. It's different when you meet someone, you go like, well, this is a different but feeling. I think it's when you can feel that you are your true self, like you're completely yourself. And mm. you just, and you actually find someone that loves you no matter for, for who you are. Like, it's, it's ridiculous to say because everybody says that, like, you, know, you need to find someone who loves you for who you are. But it's true. When it's, it's the case, it's like, wow, you actually love me? I'm actually a horrible person sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You're going to leave me for sure. No, I'm going to fight for you. Yeah, you're annoying, but I like that about you. And then I and was James like... And James is like that. Yeah, he's like that. And sometimes I'm like, oh. But <laughs> so it means, it means, yeah. Because do, do you think you can be difficult at times? I'm so difficult. Are you really? I'm so not easy. Okay, but in what ways are you not easy? I love this. No, this is so great. Why, why are you not easy? It's very good to be self-aware being not easy, right? I can be, I'm very easy in terms of like, I can be a good girlfriend in terms of like, I'm going to take care of him. I'm going to deal with a lot of things like house, house wise. Yeah. A lot of things, thinking about little details, making him happy, all the little attentions. Knowing what he I'm likes like, and knowing what he likes, everything, making his life easier with his work, be there on time, having food ready, like housewife. I can there's a lot of things. I'm generous. I can be very there. But at the same time, what is horrible with me is I've got such a short temper <laughs> and I get stressed <laughs> about a lot of things. And I'm stressed all the time. So it's like, it can be really good, but sometimes it can be horrible. And it's just, it's hard. Even for myself, it's hard. And then what happens is, is you, you then take it out on the people who are closest to you. Exactly. Because it's the easiest people to take it out on. Exactly. And it's him. And it's he, him. he's quite laid back, isn't he? Yeah. He's quite, almost yeah. maybe too, too much. So like, yeah, <laughs> look at his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still way too he's definitely back. like that. But what I can say is when he opens his mouth, Trust me, I'm scared. Because he doesn't do it often, but when he does it, Christ. <laughs> is it, is it <laughs> Just really? I don't speak anymore. <laughs> is, I can't speak. Is it really? So he really... Yeah, yeah, he... because usually he takes like, he's like, he looks at you and he let you having your... Your... Moment. Crazy moment. And he calms you down. He's like, Maeva, stop, stop, stop. And I push him super far. And then when he... When he goes, when he when goes, he goes, it's like when he wow. goes, that's it. <laughs> then, yeah. he then goes. How do you? Okay, you guys have been together how long? Four years, three, four years, three years. Almost three years. Okay, almost three years. How do you keep a relationship fire, as in good, as in great, as in sexy and fun, and all these different things? How do you do that in a relationship? No, <laughs> don't move to Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> but that's. I think that's a good point. Is being able to do those things. Things I don't really like because me moving to Cambridge or me moving to Saffron Walden <laughs> near Cambridge is obviously not where I want to be. I want to be in the city, but I'm doing it for him and I'm glad to do it. And that makes me at some point, we, I will love this place at some point. I know that I need some time, but I think as long as you, as long as you communicate and you laugh with each other, I think it's the key for me. And then you argue and then you do things but you need to be able to sometimes to just stop and even after an argument be like, come on, let's just laugh about it because that's really not take yourself too seriously. I remember the first time I knew I loved Sophie. Mm. And I remember we were, it was, it's a weird moment, but we were like in a road and a, and a car, I, I pulled her back from like a car or something like that. And I remember thinking if a car was going to hit Sophie or there was someone going to hurt her, I would definitely 
save her over me. And I remember thinking, that must mean I love her. That must yeah. be the moment that I worked out that I love her. Did you realise that? I realised it. I was thinking like, God, if she got hurt or died, that would that would really but, upset so, me. So if it was an average person, yeah, you would, yeah. You would if let it was them, you, you would let them get killed. Yeah, if it was you, oh, God, <laughs> bye, man. Oh, shit. I don't know if that's love. That's just like, <laughs> that is love. That's just a normal level of empathy. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. That's what love is about. I'm not sure. But uh, okay. It's a hundred percent love. Love. Maybe also, how do you deal with social media and comments and things like that? Because the main Chelsea, you you're one of these people, and I think you would admit this yourself. People love you, or they probably disagree with you. Yeah. And social media is a tricky place. How do you deal with it? I used to deal really badly with this for for quite few few months. Or at least a year. I don't know. I can't really, really remember. Really, did it? As in, as in, it made you not feel good and I, things. I think when I started the show and I started to show people my my personality and the way I was and everything, they were not used to see someone like that. Like obviously, like French, very like uh, abrupt so, thing like that. Saying yeah, what you mean, yeah, straight talking, big mouth, uh, aggressive, moody, uh, not really like because I show a lot of this part on on camera. Um, so they didn't really understand me. So it was a lot of like really bad comments. I, I had, I was it, always was it mean had. Com- was it mean comments? Oh yeah, there, there was mean comments. There was amazing comments. It always been half half with me. It's either like you you love me or you hate me. <laughs> and uh, at first it was really hard. Yeah, it was hard because I didn't know should I reply, should I take that actually personally? Am I actually like that? That was frustrating. Yeah. And I remember once I actually cried. That was ridiculous. And um, and then yeah, and I'm now I'm just I'm, I'm so used to it that it's just it just rise above my head I don't care I feel like I feel like with female cast members the public are always so much more bitchy towards them than than guys yeah more because men we get the for some reason we get an acceptance and I don't know I I think as a lot of the viewers are women and women like to take other women down more so I think yeah I think it is that I think it it is tough and also the the other tough side of it is when you suddenly see yourself on television for the first time like I did you suddenly go wait I look like that I I I walk like that I what I that yeah did did you have that as well oh my god it's the worst that's why I really hate watching myself it's it's (laughs) It's, actually awful it's It's, awful and maybe you're so beautiful most people you know would see but but then you have those insecurities inside of you that come out but how do you deal with that Oh, well, I'll deal really, I, uh, no, I don't really deal really well with that. I just, I just go with it. But deep down, I really, that really hurts me. It There's like so it. many things about myself that I really hate. I really you, not, you, not hate, You see but like mannerisms like. and stuff that you do when you speak that you have no idea that yes. you, you do. And you're like, what? Yes. Is that what I do? That's yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hearing your, you know, when you hear your voice back on like a voicemail or something it's yeah. like that times 10 yes exactly yeah. and things little things like my double chin on camera this is something <laughs> you don't that have really a hate. double chin yes <laughs> when I, sometimes I'm like what and then it's like that and then and then my profile and then there's something wrong with my teeth like, oh I just the, yeah. the lighting is so important I, I remember lighting. watching some scenes back and I'm like fuck me like I look awful like what happens like, you or I think both of no. you, you always both of you always look quite good trust me be in my body. Sometimes I look at it and honestly, it's like they've dragged a corpse out of like <laughs> like a dungeon. I look so un. But it does, it creates television, social media, these kind of things create so much insecurities for people. And actually what happens is, is that when people are mean on social media, they sometimes forget that you're a human mm. or, or that you are affected by comments and they sometimes just don't care. Yeah. And that's really tricky to deal with it is and yeah so, so that's why i just I try i try myself not to not not to care but uh sometimes i would say that now i started to do something which is a bit weird which is something i noticed in the reality tv in uh, in england and the reality tv in france in france when there's things like that happening they literally like they talk about it straight away like they take their phone they do like loads of stories being like okay so this is what happened so i'm going to explain to you the problem why i said that to this girl the other day is because she has France? been like that it- yes they explain everything the, the whole life like they literally like and i feel that in england you don't say anything no, you no just like that. move on quickly and then done and now i wanted to do a little bit of both so sometimes when it gets after an episode when i i've been actually really um intense like for example the last one i mean <laughs> is, maybe is there not any the last episodes one. that you're not <laughs> yeah maybe but especially did the last one I um, I'm not going to talk a lot about it but if I can say like no, do a, quick, say a, point. a quick video being like well 
this is what happened, but hey, listen, you know, I'm like this, I'm like that, but just for like five seconds. And what what happened in the latest episode? I don't, what happened? But that, that was not, maybe not the last one or the one before with, obviously with M Miles. Miles. Yeah. You have to, I know you're going back, but you have to watch it. It's like seduction at its... I've, I've seen a clip. You're, you're in a shop trying on a bikini. Yeah, is that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, seen, I've seen a clip of it. Um, I just think though also it is, and you, you come into Main Chelsea, who, who are you friendly with on the show at the moment? Who's your buddies on the show? Here we go, let's get into it, I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got loads but of I think they like me for that as well, that I just don't really get along with everyone. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but it's because you're true to yourself. It's no. because it, it is because you're, I don't know. you're true to yourself. And I think that is a is a really good thing to be. I'm quite close to leave. You're close to live? Quite close to leave. I'm quite close to... What about um, Ruby? Yeah, I'm quite close to Ruby now. Better than what we used to be. Who, do, who don't you get on with? Uh, I don't get on with. Yeah, who don't you get on with? Who don't you like on the show? Verity. <laughs> well, I've got issues with Verity. I've got issues, obviously, with Miles. Sophie, issues, Sophie Herman, obviously. Uh, and then and then there's the rest. There, there's everyone else where I can't say I don't get on with them, but I can't say I like them because I feel that I, I'm, I feel always judged by them. Mm. So I don't know. They never come to me and say hi, for example. So I feel that probably they don't like me. Well, it's fine. Or I don't know. So at the end of the day, it's a bit hard with everyone. Except maybe a few. I can count maybe five people that I get on with. But do you think there's a do you think there's a jealousy on Main Chelsea? With hundred percent. Really? So explain this. So hundred percent. Is there is a jealousy when it comes yes. to shooting? Yes. Well, I mean, we all like. I think in the world in the world of Chelsea, you obviously you start bitching about people because this is what you do and you know like you know someone will sleep with someone will kiss someone and then you start talking about that because it's interesting at the end of the day mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we all love that a little bit of this and then from there it gets so tricky because girls i would say that i struggle i don't struggle with boys actually i don't i'm not i don't have any issues with boys um but girls, there's something that I don't know if it's because I do feel that there's a jealousy. I don't know for what reason, but maybe because because I'm French, because they don't get my mentality, my mm -hmm. way to think. We think completely differently. They don't really get my sense of humor either. Uh, so uh, and they and, and perhaps they see you as a threat in terms of yes, like so coming in there and taking storylines and yes. things like that. So for me, it's like they're probably maybe jealous because of I don't know maybe maybe me very out loud like a bit superficial sometimes liking wearing certain clothes that they might not wear and they're like judging. I don't know what is it, but, but it's there's just a lot not of comfortable. There's, there's a lot of judging going on. Mm. Also, I have to mention is that um, my Sophie, my girlfriend. Uh, Wanted to get a dog because you have a mm. dog, and what dog have you got? Um, an Australian Shepherd. Okay. It is. I, I met. This, met this him, amazing. I yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a cool. It's the uh, coolest uh, doggy I've it's ever so seen. Cool. It's, it's like um, multicolored, almost. It's got like yeah. uh, amazing coat. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's the. It's this. What's it called? Clyde. <laughs> Clyde. 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 Very Clyde. So, so if you wanted to get a dog because of Clyde, and I said we can't get one. Yeah, I mean, I heard about that. Yeah, I think yeah. I even I saw her not a long time ago and I asked her the question. She was like, no, no, not yet. Yeah, I said, I, I, I think I've told you this, haven't I, Mitt? Where, so basically, Sophie wanted to get a dog. Mm. I kind of said offhandly, yeah, let's get one, whatever. And then the the sort of cage arrived for it, to, to what well, it was sleeping as a puppy. Was it the baby, the, the little uh, fluffy... You know, it's like, it's like a little, she was going to get a little dashend, like a little cream dashend. Oh. And the cage arrived and I said, no, we can't get it. I said, we can't do this, we have to stop it. And so then she had to, she can't it. But she wants to get a dog because you guys have a dog and it's the prettiest little amazing thing in the entire world. Can I ask you why you didn't want the dog? Because it's responsibility. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's like the biggest responsibility. How much of a responsibility is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, yeah. Would you, would, you, would you get a dog knowing what a dog is like to have? Well, I'm more a cat person anyway. <laughs> But <laughs> James, James is allergic, so that was a dog, no, no nothing else. Um, I it mean, is so yeah, the responsibilities once, is once crazy. You have, once you have in, like once is Clyde, for example, is a lot of work. He needs, he is so agitated. He needs loads of attention. You need to walk him 
two, three hours a day. He needs a lot of exercise. God, and James, it's James not, has really it's not got his workout. Dog. He's got two. Uh, uh, yeah, and he's at work. It's two, and three I'm, hours a day of walking. I mean, at least to make him tired, 100%. <laughs> he, does he not get tired otherwise? He doesn't get tired at all. <laughs> and but, and that's, that's, that's frustrating for me because, of course, James is going to go on a run. He's going to take Clyde. It's easy. But me, I need to go on long walks. Sometimes I can't be bothered. It's hard. I give him his medicines. I, bro- I do I do. Things. What is his medicines he has? But you know, like to make sure that's that he's fine. Sleep. No. <laughs> yeah. Come, Come, on, Come on, Clyde. <laughs> I wish Bed sometimes time now. if I can give him that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work. But once you fall in love, I mean, you can't. I mean, I can't imagine my life without, without him. Really? So now he's your baby? Yeah. He's everything. He's everything. How, oh, how old wow. is Clyde? He's almost two years old. Okay, oh. if you had a, if, if 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 a if a gunman ran into the house with a gun and said it's either James or, or Clyde, James or Clyde, which one would you pick? Clyde, <laughs> of course. <laughs> No, what do you mean? You'd save, I mean, no, 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 you'd, you'd save, save James. You'd save, save James, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Maybe, listen, um, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Honestly, we, we really, really appreciate it. Um, I, I love the fact that you do main Chelsea and the way you are on it and how honest and open you are. I think a lot of people can replicate that, do it. Cause that's what I was always like. I was always very honest and open in lots of ways. Had a little secrets. Not, not sure you were honest. Oh, well, I had a little secrets. Yeah. Yeah, had yeah. a little secrets, buddy. You, you were open. I was open. I was open and you're so good at it. So if anyone ever, if they give you shit online or whatever it is, you take the good with the bad. It doesn't matter. You just ignore yeah. it. Oh, um, yeah. Listen, what we'd like to do at the end of the podcast mm-hmm. is leave our listeners with something inspirational from you. Do it in French. What's a wicked French quote that you have? Um, <laughs> really on the spot. Yeah, here, isn't it? yeah on the spot. Um, <clears throat> here we go. I would say in French. Okay, so in French, I would say something that... An advice that mm-hmm. I can give to someone would be pense à toi et rien d'autre. Which means? Which means think about yourself and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I, I like yeah. it. I love that. No, I think the translation is really bad. <laughs> but in French no, it works. No, it's bad. It's quite like, it doesn't make sense. Well, <laughs> I liked it. Basically, but... think about yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. And don't worry about yeah. other people. Yeah. I think it's you, you live by that mantra. 100%. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. day. Yeah. Every day, buddy. You see someone about to get run over. Yeah, yeah whatever. As long as I'm not getting run over. It's all me. Maven, thank you so much. Thanks thank to you. you. Everybody, we'll thank see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.